Good morning, guys. Another short video today. It is Tuesday, the 22nd of September. Um, we're two days in to week five of the weirdest school year ever. And today's video is going to be short. Did I already say that? Um, today, the governor is doing his weekly coronavirus in Arkansas briefing thing for the media. Um, and we haven't talked about COVID-19 um, in a few days. So tomorrow, um, we'll be talking about COVID and um, news from Arkansas and maybe from the United States about COVID. But anyway, that's, to, that's tomorrow because he's talking about it today. Today, there are two questions that I want to answer that you guys have asked. Um, somebody asked me yesterday, whatever we ask, are you going to talk about it in a morning video? And I was like, mm, probably. So two questions. Um, one of them was, and the, the kid who asked that, asked this question, what is your favorite color? Um, you know, that, on the one hand, that's kind of silly to take morning video time for, but we're talking so little, like, personally in class right now that I feel like, you know, if we know each other a little better, that's okay. So here's my favorite color. Generally, I really like just, like, neutral nature-y colors, like gray and brown and um, green and blue the only bright color that I really like is orange. And in honor of that question, I wore my orange sweatshirt today because I like orange. Um, orange has been my favorite color since I was in second grade. And the reason I remember this is that there was this kid named J Jamie Jackman. Jamie Jackman, who I liked. And his favorite color was also orange. And I thought at the age of seven that that should mean that we would be together forever. Now... Jamie did not know this. Jamie was completely aware of any of this. And it turns out that having the same favorite color when you're seven means absolutely nothing um, as far as eventual relationships go. But there you go. My favorite color is orange and it has been since I was seven. Um, the other question that I want to address today is from, um, from that video we watched a couple of weeks ago that was about uh, people jumping out of airplanes with or without um, uh, parachutes and what happened to them and some statistics about that, which I thought you'd think was interesting. So somebody asked, what's the lowest you can fall, distance you can fall from and still be killed? And I thought that was a really, like, interesting question. Here's my answer. I don't think there's a limit. Um, we think of people falling off of buildings or out of out of planes without parachutes and, and they are killed or out of trees, things like that. Um, but the fact is that if you land wrong, you can fall from almost any height and have the injuries from that kill you. Here's why I know this. When, um, let's see, it was six years ago, my brother, um, I have two brothers, so the younger one who's still older than me, but anyway, um, was at work and he was on a ladder and he was pulling some electrical lines and nobody else was in the room with him so nobody knows exactly what happened but he lost his footing and fell on his head and he was on like a six or eight foot ladder so it wasn't it wasn't really all that far above the ground right except he landed on his head so he had to go to the emergency room and he was in the icu for like two weeks on life support um Remember, this is my brother we're talking about, so this is kind of a personal story. Um, and he just, he never woke up again. And after a couple of weeks, my parents decided that even if he recovered, he would have no kind of life at all and, um, you know, be in bed, totally reliant on everybody else. And it wasn't look like, looking like he was going to recover at all. The doctors had tried lots and lots of things, and his brain injuries were just way too severe to to bring him out of that coma and so my parents decided to cut off life support and my brother died about two weeks after that fall so that the actual reason I'm telling you this is not so that you'll be all sad with me because I've, I've already been all sad about it but to answer the question that somebody asked what's the lowest distance you can fall from and still be killed well the answer is not really all that far. My brother fell from a six or eight foot, I think it was an eight foot ladder, and he's not here anymore. So that, um, that not only answers the question, but it makes us think about um, being safe when we're 
up in the air, whether it's in a tree or on a ladder or whatever. And I don't mean to say that you shouldn't climb trees because I do that still and it's good, but just be careful, right? Because landing wrong with pretty much any kind of fall um, can be a really, really serious problem. Okay, so end of stories for today. That was two questions that people had asked that I answered. Let's see. Um, so today we are going to have a weird schedule again because of map testing, I think. Um, remember that anything that I assigned for the first three weeks of school, I'm not accepting anymore. Anything I assigned last week, I will still take until this Wednesday afternoon whenever I get around to grading it. So lunchtime would be your safe bet. Oops. Um, let's see. Today in class, you're going to, of course, have this video to start up. And then I want you to, if you did not check Schoology yesterday, to check your grades and how I entered them. I want you to do that today so that we'll know for sure that I didn't make any mistakes before interim reports come out. Um, and you're going to have another CK12 assignment. Um, I think I'm going to give you three, three pages today. Um, I might just give you two because we're going to have short classes again. Anyhow, so... Today, your job is this video, and if you didn't check Schoology yesterday, do it, and email me if there's a problem, and 3CK12. So, I hope you have a good day. It's rainy. I will probably be inside rather than on the patio, even with ninth grade classes. Hey Duke still has an ear infection, so he's still at home, and I hope you guys have a good day, and remember that I'm here if you need me.